Okay, so here is how to work with your superhero drawing to grid it. So this is a printout of a superhero. It's best to get not a photograph to work from, but a drawing to work from. Why? A photograph is values. You have to assign lines. It's a much more difficult task than working from an image that already has lines in it. And because you're going to be following and doubling lines, it's a lot easier. Um, photo you can certainly draw from a photograph, but just know it will be a different kind of challenge. So what we have here is we have a Ninja Turtle, and he is in within a box that is 7 by 9. Our paper is going to be double the size, so 7 by 9 is a good fit. The first thing that you need to do is take your drawing and isolate it. Where's the important part? And get it into that 7 to 9 box. Now, I haven't squared it up yet. What I'm simply going to do is I'm going to give myself a little tick mark about every inch. So I'm going to pick an area where I have plenty of space, and I'm lining up my T-square with that straight line there. And I'm going to make a little mark every inch. And I'm going to repeat the same process horizontally. Do that again. And it is 7 by 9. So one every inch, I'm making a little dot. The next step is to square up the paper. I've set my T-square to the bottom of my table, lining my paper up here, and I'm going to tape down my corners. One, two, some drafting tape so I don't rip the paper, and there we go. Now I'm ready to make the lines through it. So we're going to just put our T-square lined up the edge of the paper, and then you can either use a Sharpie or a pencil. Um, if you're going to use, um, I would use a pencil if you feel like you might make a mistake and need to erase it. If you're drawing, if your image is quite dark, I recommend a red Sharpie, but for my purposes today, I'm going to use a black Sharpie. So I'm just going to pull across. Notice how you drag pencil when you make your lines or your Sharpie. I'm about halfway done here. Keeping the T-square firmly across the table, and I'm just sliding it up, and as soon as I encounter a line or a little dot that I've made, I will stop my T-square. I'm going to repeat the same process, this time vertically. My document camera is in the way, so I cannot continue. But I'll show you the next step. Then what you're going to do is you're going to label the vertical, alphabetical, and then you want to label your horizontal with numbers. So you have a grid that you can find your coordinates. We have a 9 by 7 grid. Then, as you're drawing, you're isolating each section of the grid. I have these great little viewfinders here. So, if you're righty, you're going to start over here on the, um, the top left so that you don't smear. So, you would just isolate your area and you would look, look at the individual line and you say to yourself, okay, what shape is that? Where does the shape begin? Where does the shape end? So what I would do is I would say, okay, well this shape kind of looks like a rectangle that was cut at a 45 degree angle. And it's three quarters in this way. So horizontally I would make a dot three quarters in. And then I would say, you know what, it's three quarters vertically. And I would make a dot. And I say, I know that's a 45 degree angle. And then I would say, this is in, oh my gosh, maybe a tenth. And I would simply connect the dots on my larger version. That's how you set up your drawing.